Hi, and welcome to our walkthrough for recording your expenses in Crunch. During this session, we'll set up a brand new supplier and then we'll use that supplier to record expenses. As a bonus at the end, we'll also discuss recurring expenses as well. So first thing you want to do is head on over to expenses and then you want to select create an expense. You first need to set up a new supplier. So this is a place or an individual that you buy products or services from. So go ahead and press new supplier. You'll need to enter a display name. This is simply the name of the individual or place that you buy things from. However, as a recommendation for everyday items like perhaps food or travel, just name them as that. And then you can also go on to select a default expense type. Once you're done, should look something like this. We'll use food as an example for the first one and then something a bit more specific. Once you're happy, go ahead and press save. So that's your supplier all set up and it should show here. However, if you need to use it again later, just use this drop down menu. You then need to enter a purchase date for the expense. You can also attach things like receipts. Next up, we now need to start entering details of the expense. So you'll need to put in a brief description. Your expense type should already be there, but if you need to change it, you can do using the drop down. The same with the VAT. Now Crunch will automatically detect VAT, but if you need to change it, use this box as well. And then of course, enter the amount. Following on from this, you just need to enter information about how you paid for it. So if you've got different bank accounts, you can choose a different bank account. So it should look something like this when you're all done. And then if you're happy with it all, just pop down to the bottom and press save. And that's it. So that's your supplier and your expense now created. And as you can see here, you've got the details of the supplier alongside the expense details, such as the total status and the date. Now, if you need to create an expense in the future, just go back to expenses and use this plus button in the lower right and then you can follow the same process as before. One other thing I do want to show is recurring expenses. So for this example, I've set up Adobe and this is actually a monthly cost. So rather than me having to go through every single month and adding the same thing, just go over to recurring expenses and then you want to select create a recurring expense. And then from here, it's more or less the same as the expense form. Select your supplier. The next thing is frequency. So in this example, once every month, or you can change the frequency using this drop down. You can also specify when it starts and whether you want it to end. Underneath, you'll see the same items, the same payment method, etc., as we saw on expenses. So do exactly the same as you would when creating a normal expense. So it should look something like this when you're all done. And then don't forget your payment method and scroll down to hit save. Once you're done, you'll see a schedule for the recurring event. It looks very similar to the expenses screen. You've got the supplier, the amount and the status alongside the frequency of the item.